Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit structure. In this lesson you are going to learn on how you can you know detail what you are seeing here okay I will take you step by step on how you can detail this continuous beam as you are seeing from here okay now I just want to mention to you that this is part two okay and if you want to watch part one where we created the 3D ribber, as you are seeing from here, please make sure that you check the card above, click on that and watch part one if you didn't watch, okay? If you want, you can also check in the description there. I'm going to put the link to, to part one where we created the 3D ribber, you know, as you can see from here. But if you already watched part one, or if you are familiar with, you know, creation of 3D ribber like this on a continuous beam, then join me in this lesson where I'll teach you on how you can, you know, start detailing, you know, up to this level. Okay. So I just, I also want to encourage or ask all of you, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe now. And if you already subscribed, make sure that you don't just watch, but like the videos and also put some comments of whatever, you know, you would like to ask. That way you are going to encourage me to do even more and more tutorials. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and get started in, in this lesson. So here we are, as you can see, I've just used this frame where we don't have the ribber here on the top beam. There's a feature that I want to show you in Revit 2023, whereby you can copy, you know, the, the, the reinforcement from this beam to the other. Again, before I forget, if there's anyone who would like to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure analysis in a course step by step, make sure that you check the links in the description there. You will find, you know, those links where you can check the courses and I'm sure you might be interested because the courses are so good. Okay, so let's proceed now. So for you to copy the ribber from this one, to the other beam in Revit 2023 so that you can have something like this that we created, you know, from scratch in part one. So all you need to do is to simply, you know, select the beam, this beam where the ribber is, then go to propagate ribber. Once you click there, simply go to the, you know, to that, you know, to that beam where you want the ribber to be and click. You see that the ribber will be, you know, created right there. Then make sure that you just click on finish. Now you see from here that I need to just fix this one. And the reason is this, okay? I think in future, I just need to explain or teach you on how to, you know, to, to make sure that you constrain the ribber. This feature works well if you, you know, make sure that you constrain all the faces, but it's like I missed this face, but all the same, I'll simply drag this one as I'm going to show you right now. So we have the 3D ribber right there. Then what you need to do for you to start, you know, creating a detail like this one, as you can see, is to simply go to level one or any level, as you can see from here, it's opened. Then simply go to view, click on view right there, then click on section and section there. And I'm just going to pick, you know, that section, then click the first point and the second point. Then I'll simply drag my extents up to here, click outside. Then I'll just double click the head there. Then this is the, the crop region. I'll simply select on it, just drag it up. As you can see, this is the part that I detailed, but I'll simply drag and hide this part because I'm more interested on the top beam. So drag like that, select, you know, the, the grids, just trying to do some cleanups here and there, click outside, okay. If I want, I can change it to fine and change the scale, maybe one to 50 if I want, as you can see from here. Okay, now let me just fix this one because I didn't constrain you. So when you copy, it always, you know, misbehave a bit, but make sure that you constrain. And in future, I'll teach you on how you can do proper constraints. Okay, again, if you want me to do a video in future on constraints, okay, on how you constrain river, please comment within there, down there to say constraint then I'll know that, you know, people need to know what I'm talking about. I'll just select on the ribber there and really I'll just, you know, simply drag it up to here. Okay. But maybe instead of dragging like that, I'll just select that bar and, you know, just delete it. And I just want to mirror this one here. So select on that one because it's still the same bar, but I'll just change this one is Y12 from here. 
the bottom one is y16 so i'll just mirror this one uh need to pick or just use that tool to draw the axis do i have the mirror okay i pick that one and that one okay as you can see i just mirrored this one then i need to change this one to y16 because the top one is y12 just like that so i'll fix it as you can see from here right now let me add the break lines i'll simply go to annotate there and it's a component i'll click on detail component as you can see that is the break line then i'll simply add it somewhere here modify then click there and just expand it a bit then on top there i can move it like that then i'll select on that one i just want to mirror it just pick that one and that one you can see it's mirrored you can select on it and just use the arrow on my keyboard just like that then i'll just select hold control select this one and just simply use the copy okay i can simply copy from those points just like that i have all the break lines so you see revit is very very good and i just want to encourage you that revit is the future please don't just rely on autocad at some point in future to be absolute so in as much as you are using autocad please revit is the future get into revit okay so as you can see we have the break the the break lines there then let's get started with our detailing simply select on that and, and i'm just detailing according to the you know the, the 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 euro code the bs you know the south african code where you have to just leave one bar there so i'll just pick the center as you can see in some other parts of the world they will still detail the way it is so if you are there in such regions whereby you don't have to hide then just go ahead and start detailing but i'll hide this one then select on that bar then hide it just like that so i I'm just i just want to show that bar the other thing that i want to show you this is the feature in revit 2023 you can see that i have additional ribbon on top there so it's you know it's in line there with the other bar so for visibility purposes so that the one who is constructed should be able to see and read the details properly you simply select on that bar then what you need to do is just to click on displace then you can drag it a bit just like that so that you are able to read it properly then drag it like that this is a very very good feature in revit 2023 select on that displace it drop it a bit just like this okay if you are using a different version version really don't worry about that you can still go ahead and start detailing and just put a line there a, a mark to show at the end that we have the bar which is overlapping with the other one but if you have 2023 this is the feature that you can use okay then the other one this side there i have that one then displace it then just drop it a bit and drag it like that just like that so that's how i want my bus to be seen even there just like that okay then let me go and start using the tags now go to annotate then riba then mount riba annotation select that bar okay let me just escape once select the bar there then click once don't worry this is a template that i created i'll need to switch with a different one just click there modify select that one click there and i just want to pick one line okay select on it then tag there then i just have to clean it up like this then drag it like that then select on this one and tag there it's edit there i just want to hard to add an arrow there i want the maybe this one apply okay so you can see it's right there now one thing i want to mention to to you is that for those who are interested in joining me in the course for revit structure the template is there once you just get that one then the you are going to have you know this template with everything that you are seeing within here but really if you are not you don't have the resources to buy that course please stay on this channel and i'll keep on teaching you and in future i may create also a template or i can show you how to create a template of your own so i'll proceed annotate then click on riba mount riba then go to this one and select on it click once okay click click it's just a matter of clicking two points okay then select on this one why is it still jumping to the other one should be able to pick the other one automatically click there then just 
straighten it a bit and place it there okay right then the next one annotate there then out this time i just want to change in advance or before i change i just want to have that one there modify then i want to change this one to to this one here i don't want to show the spacing but i can show the diameter the bar mark just like this i think i'm happy with that one i don't want to show the numbers you can click there if you want to to have an elbow like that you can do that Again, it's selected, just click there and make sure that I add the arrow, which is maybe that one, apply, okay. Click outside, select on that, right click, create similar, and I want to have another one there. I'll not add the elbow because I want to finish it first. Does it matter? You can go ahead and, you know, finish it like this. Okay, so I'm just picking. If I want to pick this one, you can see the additional top ribber this one here i can drag it on top if i want i want to have this one also select on it i can move it somewhere here and you know all these can be moved in any position where i want you know this to be i can select on that select on that if i want to add an elbow i can simply do that okay so it's up to you on how you you know you want to detail okay maybe the mid one annotate you know tag by category then i'll just click on it okay just like this and click on modify as you can see from here so you can see everything is done if i go to the other one okay maybe i want to show i'll use the i'll simply use the other tag if i want to show the number of the river there so i'll go back okay right click cancel then i'll select on that one this that within the template there's another the one that i can use which shows the the quantity so if i go there again this is just a personal template this one has a quantity so you can see it, it it's there so i can simply go to modify then click there pick this one and simply change all these to you know to that one so that i'm able to show even the quantities as you can see from here okay then select on that and simply you know straighten a bit okay select on this one and straighten a bit okay you can see that it's quite small because of the scale but you can go ahead and change the you know the size for your text there if you want okay let me do this one quickly first let me select on this one and drag it there select on this one click on this is just a family where you can you know change these things select on the you know the family click on edit type let me have maybe two somewhere there or 2.5 if i want click on apply okay then just load within my project you know and override you can see that everything will change so it's interesting to work in revit really if you want to not to detail you know the goodness with Revit is that there is no cheating. In other two, you know, two D softwares, you can cheat, but in Revit, there is nothing like cheating because it will tell you to say that you are cheating. So here we are. Everything is done. The other thing that I need to do is to simply go to annotate, align dimension. You know, dimensions really are easy to do. You can simply do that if you want. If I want to show the maybe the the sizes for my for my columns i can still do that and add it right here okay okay so now all i need to do is to just hide that box there by just deactivating i can just drag you know like that then if i want maybe the text to be a little bit bigger again for the dimension click there then i'll go down there maybe i want it to be 2.5 even for this one click on apply okay so Thank you very much for watching this video. This is how you do the detailing. And please make sure that you like this video. That will help me a lot. And check the links in the description for those who would like to join the course. So see you in some more tutorials in future within this channel.